Hey, this is Dad Random, and this is the Feline F7. Possibly the best bag that you can buy. Oh, with a drone in it. <laughs> Feline F7. Is it good enough to compete? Hey, this is Dad Random. Welcome um, to this very short unboxing. Uh, what I have for you today is, let me, tell you, let me show you right there, the Beeline F7. Let's take a look at it very quickly because quite honestly, we have an almost com competitive drone here from the toy industry. So check this thing out. This is the Beeline F7. Now, obviously, this is an antiquated design, but there are some really interesting features in it. If you look at the folded uh, props, um, this thing is very loud. Um, but design-wise, it's it's almost there, and that's really uh, and it, it can almost compete. And that's really what I'm what I'm saying. Um, the camera is like I said, we'll see examples of that really soon. But um, build quality, um, there's some really good things. And first of all, this bag is absolutely one of the nicest bags I've ever seen for a toy quality drone. This is actually competitive with the DJI quality uh, bag. Um, if you look at the look at the stitching overall and you look at this, the, the, the bag quality, I mean, look at this thing. It's nice in interior. Um, this, I mean, this stitching detail, um, graphically, um, the pockets on the side, I mean, Somebody went through a lot of trouble to design this thing. So if anybody uh, needs to be, you know, commended for it, uh, I would say the bag designer is uh, in need of a raise. Um, inside of the bag, you have um, a spare battery with this one. It's a two battery system and some props. So pretty cool. So this one comes with um, this spare battery. And, and I, let me show you this battery really quick. I think, I think everybody needs to appreciate um, the battery system because it's come a long ways when it comes when it when it comes to toy quads but um, This thing uh, There's your USB-C. There's one quality uh, that's important. Um, this thing is a, a smart battery So I mean you would basically turn it on uh, Just like a smart battery would and turn it off Long press and there's the USB-C. Now, this does take a while to charge. This is an 1100 three cell, um, or 11 volt, excuse me, three cell. So uh, a 2.8, uh, 28.86 watt hours, uh, lithium ion polymer. Uh, so LiPo. And um, 2600 MOS, so 2600. I think the ones I usually bought were 24, 23. So, uh, rated voltage, five volts, hmm. but 11 point, oh, well, rated, okay, but this is 11.1 volt three cell battery. It's the only way it's going to fly that way. So, so pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, just a very well designed. I mean, it's hard plastic, nothing cheap about this battery whatsoever. And you get two of these in this pack. So these are some of the really good features. Um, Little USB-C cable, put that in there. Um, as far as the drone and the controller, let's, uh, you know, of course you get these, there's an extra prop set right there. Uh, F7 blades, these are not quiet whatsoever. These are very, very, very noisy, aggressive props. Um, that's all I can tell you about it at this point. Um, but that goes in the bag right there is the battery box. Uh, Controller-wise, um, a lot of discussion. I've seen a lot of videos uh, as to the, the controller. Um, there it is. I mean, that is literally the, uh, the controller um, view from you'd see on a Mavic. So right there, it's connecting. It does take a while to connect, um, but you've got... Um, Two buttons on either on either top side. 
The one thing that I'm checking for is uh, to ex to run the um, gimbal up and down. You see where you turn this? It says gimbal up, gimbal down. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. So I would like those reversed. So I'm going to see if you can reverse those. Um, and then you've got your your gimbal. Now these these gimbals are obviously not. Uh, they're probably toy grade. But there's a return to home button, which I know works because I've already tried it. Uh, and you've got real Wi-Fi repeating, um, you got real Wi-Fi repeating antenna. Take photo, video start. So every, it's very well labeled. Um, you can't put, at least at least I haven't figured, I haven't seen that. There's a USB-C, there's your charging port. There is no um, OTG capability whatsoever for this. So this is a, a, a basically a Wi-Fi, let me turn that off. This is a, a, a Wi-Fi repeater is my guess. So when you hook this up to the drone, okay, when you hook this up to the, to the drone itself, um, you are basically hooking from the phone to the controller, from the controller to the drone. That's how you get the distances this thing will give you. But there it is right there. And there's um, some pretty decent quality, not bad. Um, I'm just, it is what it is. Um, battery wise, as far as how it's, uh, it inserts, it's very, uh, very tight, um, very good tolerances. So this is not cheaply made. Um, and um, I think you're supposed to get 20 minute uh, battery times. We'll find out, but there it is. There's your unboxing. Um, of course, if you're interested in the camera, maybe not the strongest part of the uh, of the deal, but this is actually a gimbal guard, which is cool that it comes with, and you've got your three-axis camera, boxy camera. Um, I think it does kind of suit the drone itself. So I don't know if there's a sensor up there. It's, I think that's just a decoration, but um, three-axis gimbal. Um, and soft shock, soft mount. And there's the bottom, if you're interested in what the bottom looks like. Front, yes it is 4K, uh, 15 FPS, and you got this very handy, this is magnetic by the way, um, prop guard on the top. Um, basically to unfold it, you pull these back tight, like that. This reminds me of the of the um, spark a little bit with the antennas, but a little bit bigger. Um, I would say these are about four inches, probably maybe five inch props, probably five, they're probably five inches. Uh, these will fold down and up like that. So there you go. So um, much different than any of the toy quads that I've I've ever seen. There you go. If you guys want to look at it from that camera angle there. And then, so there it is. Uh, looks like the top of the props are labeled, and it also tells you the direction they spin. There are arrows on the very top, so let me put that up for you so you guys can see. There's that camera right there. You see the arrows right there? That's a blue. That's a white. There you go. You see that? Oh. Put that up in there. All right, there's the unboxing. This is the F7. Uh, this is by Bwine. Uh, DJRC also um, markets this same drone, and that's very common. So pretty big and boxy, um, but from some of the first, some of my first flight experiences, it actually kind of flies okay. So um, we'll get some of those tests. Now um, these guys want me to do some evening tests, some night tests for this camera. So, which I have done, so you'll get some video of that, uh, and I'll give you some examples of that. But there it is, the F7. Um, thank you for sending it. I'm obviously going to fly it, and guys, every drone deserves to be flown, and every drone deserves a chance, so we're going to give this one a chance. But there it is, Dad Random's unboxing boxing of the B-Wine F7. Yes, it can almost compete. It can almost compete. Yes. Compete with what? We'll let you know.
later. Bye.